Hi everyone, welcome back to our series Mom vs. Technology. Hi. Hi Mom, how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. Good, so let's start right in with the questions. So Mom, first question today. Uh, do you know that you have a camera on your computer, right? Yes, of course. And do you hide it or not? Yes, I hide it. You do? Huh? Why do you do this? Because I don't want anybody to see me in my house and can see my house too. Wow, I'm impressed. You know, I mean, most people nowadays, they don't even realize that you have to do that. And my mom, who is, by the way, 79 years old, she does that. So that's very impressive. Now, I'm curious, mom, how do you hide it? What do you use to hide it? I cut the system. You cut the system? Yes. Ah. And how do you cut the system? I did it once and uh, it stopped like this. Ah, so then, you know, as you say in English, the devil is in the details. And what she just revealed is that she um, turned it off um, digitally, right? So probably in her preferences, she found a way to turn the camera off. But the problem is, the bad guys that are spying on you, they know how to turn that right on. So not only you should turn it off as she did, but you should also use something physical, like a piece of paper, a piece of tape, whatever you have, to hide it completely, so that to block it completely, so that even if the bad guys have remote access to your computer and manage to turn the camera on, they won't be able to see a thing. So I'm glad you learned something today, Mom. Yes. Good. Too. <laughs> so I mean, it's good that you block your camera, but why do you do it? Just because I want to be in a pyjama in my house. Ah, okay, that makes sense. I, I cannot see that. So, um, do you use your computer or your phone to do video calls? No, I don't like that. You don't like that? Okay, so what is a video call? A video call, uh, we call uh, someone and we can see each other from... Uh, Yes. That's a very good definition, but I'm curious. You tell me you never do that. The same as before, because I don't want uh, someone to see me. Okay, no, that's very good, but uh, don't we often speak by video calls, you and me? No, I don't think a lot of people do that. No, but you and me. No, we don't do it. Yeah. Actually, it's true, like lately we don't do it anymore. No. So that's a very interesting, you know, many years ago when we were living far away, we were using uh, one of those yes. famous video calling tools, I won't say the name, it has been bought by a big company now, and we use it quite often. And then I guess both of us became more and more aware about uh, the danger of cyber security and privacy and, you know, people spying on you, and we have stopped doing that. So now we have regular calls, but we don't do video anymore. So yeah, you're right, actually. We used to do that mm -hmm. about 20 years ago, but now I'm older. So? Well, I'm not so good, I'm so pretty. Ah, so, you know, it's not just about privacy, it's about looking good on the camera. Yes, that's it. So, thanks for being with us today, you still look very good. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. So, on to the next question uh, about passwords. You know, that's a topic we touched on before, but it's such an important topic, we need to be very, very specific about it. So let me ask you, Mom, do you have one main password that you use on many different websites and services, or you use a different one for each and every service? I always use different buttons. Oh, yes. That's pretty good, too. That's really good. So, uh, and why do you do this? I do that because it's uh, safety. For safety, okay. Yeah. And why do you think it's safe? Uh, you're totally right, by the way, but I'm curious. Why do you think it's safer to use different passwords as opposed to just using the same one every day? Because if you have a hacker who comes on your computer, like that, he has all the password. If mm -hmm. not, he can perhaps have one, but not the other. I am very impressed, <laughs> you know, and now I was wondering, you know, if you wonder why I started working in cyber security, maybe it's in my genes or something. <laughs> so anyway, I will just uh, do, say one more thing about this. It's, it's true that uh, if a hacker hacks a service that you use, you know, one of those social medias or email accounts, of course, he, if he managed to get your password and then this password just send that you on other services, he can then access your other services. So that's why it's super important to use different ones. 
congratulations, man. You know, actually, what you said about uh, not wanting people to see you when you're in a pyjama and you're at your computer, but today we're grabbing a video that uh, people are watching all over the world, and look at you, it looks like you came into your pyjama today. Oh, it's fashion, you know? Ah, okay, so not only does she know almost as much as me about cybersecurity, but she even knows definitely much more than me about fashion. So I stand corrected, this is fashion, it's not a pyjama. And anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Please feel free to watch the previous episodes or to wait for the next one. Subscribe, give us a like, and remember, be safe online and offline.